Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, Steve here at uh, Pickett Custom Trucks today. Uh, beautiful morning here. We're getting fired up for the day. See the sun coming up in the background over the mountains there. And uh, you can also see we got this brand new W900 Kenworth here that we're about to ship out. Uh, this thing turned out pretty bitch in here. Get some footage with the lights on since it's pretty early in the morning here. Pretty badass looking truck. All white, white on white. Walk around the back here. See we got a custom fabricated light bar. I mean I really shouldn't even see it custom because it looks like every t-bumper out there but we built this thing from scratch um, all aluminum on here you notice the uh, inside tail lights aren't working two of those are backup lights and the other two are strobes um, this truck's gonna pull a racing boat and so it's got to have strobes on it because it's gonna be parked on the side of roads and you know anywhere else that it might get ran into um, we got our Hogue built stainless steel full fenders on here with our heavy duty brackets that we make in house. Uh, you see, we countersunk the frame on this thing all smooth, the whole length of it. Uh, this thing's like 300 inch, 305, something like that, wheelbase. Got a fixed fifth wheel, so ultra long all stainless deck plate on this thing full length stainless airline box uh, we did three tail lights on each side of the sleeper here kind of that old school low look you'll notice they're not super wide on this because the way the sleeper is built we didn't want to get into cutting up all the bracing and all that stuff but made sure to match the spacing with the tail lights on the light bar so that everything's even. Uh, we got aluminum eye panel on here. Six four inch lights. Just trying to keep everything matching. Uh, you can see we got amber underglow all the way around on this thing here. Got our clamp on rock light kits up in the frame. You notice this truck doesn't have any cab or sleeper panels on it. Um, the cab sits so low on it, and with the fuel tanks being sucked up under the sleeper, you'd never be able to get fuel in it. So we decided to just stay with kind of that classic no panel look. Um, one thing you will notice is we did, it's kind of hard to see from here, but the underneath of the sleeper is sheeted in stainless with the flush mount light bars under there. Uh, we did our air ride on this one. She's uh, pretty damn low as you can see here. Painted the hubs. Uh, Lincoln chrome front bumper. Threw some melons on the outside edge, or corners. Back to our front hubs, you can see we got our billet oil caps on there, all polished up, some tall lug nut covers. See in behind the bumper we got a little stainless panel in there with some more lights for our underglow. Uh, we did three air cleaner lights on these, kind of Peterbilt style, tucked in. Never did like the ones that bolted out on the fronts of the cleaners. I always thought that looked kind of cheesy. Uh, we got a pretty good sized visor on this truck here. Thought it was going to be too much, but it actually looks pretty good with the size of the cab on here. Uh, nine bus lights on the roof. Get rid of them goofy square ones that Peter or, uh, Kenworth puts on there. Uh, all Grand General melons on this truck. Uh, you can see we got some 7-inch pipes on here. They are dummied. 
Um, it does have a weed burner up underneath of it. Get rid of the goofy stock ones. Um, what else can I tell you about this thing here? Doesn't really sound like we did a whole lot, but this was quite a project. Just kind of peek our heads inside here real quick. Didn't do much on the inside, all stock. Button tuck, Seattle package in here, all black, classy, very clean looking. Turned out pretty bitchin'. Well guys, don't think I missed anything, maybe I did. Oh, we welded in the rear cross number on here and trimmed the frame a little bit. Kind of clean it up and see it's all smoothed out on there. Added our Cali hookups. So. All right guys, well, we're gonna get in the shop. We're gonna get to work. Um, if you want any uh, Picket merch or parts, hit us up on the website, picketcustomtrucks.com. Um, you can also hit me in the comments or DM me or whatever if you can't get through on there, and we'll try to get you taken care of. And uh, till next time, guys, let's keep on trucking.